Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Today we're doing lots of different jobs here. But it's that time again. Look at these. These are our um, sunflowers. But these are not the giant sunflowers. These are little bush type sunflowers with yellow flowers on them, obviously. Uh, and they come about that size. And uh, they have lots of different sunflowers on the bush. So that's very nice. These are yellow ones. I've got some red ones as well. And uh, well, these are giant sunflowers. And you can tell the difference because look at the leaf shape they're like wing shape are they not uh, pointed more and these are big and they're rounded and so there we become giant sunflowers and it's almost time to plant those out it's interesting that i've got these out already i planted some in the ground outside and they're literally just coming up through the soil now uh, it's been a bit cold for them whereas these have been in the greenhouse and it's funny it's same with my um my uh, peas we planted peas outside and they're coming up nicely uh, but I planted these two weeks after we planted the peas outside and these are the same size now <laughs> of the peas outside these have been grown in the greenhouse so they have to be hardened off before they go outside now once we start putting these out I can make sure these are more individually spaced and we need to work out how to water them especially as well when you put tomato plants outside and cu cucumber plants you need to be able to water direct to the roots so there's a fantastic system if you've loved got lots of plastic bottles lying around save them like this look save those because what you need to do is uh, very carefully get something like a knife or a pair of scissors and uh, well here's one I have prepared earlier we chop the end off which means you can put this part into the soil so you, you put it in the soil about that much so this part is in the soil right next to the roots which means when you water you can water into here and it comes out of there it directs the water where you want it because obviously in a hot summer you don't want to be wasting water and the plants need it near their roots so you put that next to the roots and as, the, as they grow obviously they grow there but they'll get the water direct in the bottom so you might need quite a few of these and you can use anything really so long as it directs the water to the roots and they're, they're fantastic things so you know you don't really need to you can recycle on the allotment because as you know plastic will last forever well, I found in the house in one of our drawers potatoes and they're growing obviously look at those so I'm going to try them out I'm going to plant them because obviously the ones we buy to plant are called seed potatoes now whether or not these will grow on to become potatoes and to become a potato plant and give us a harvest we will see let's have a go they're rather spectacular aren't they look at that one amazing so hopefully these in future will give us some potatoes just finished seeding our new wildlife area with all the flowers and the, the long grasses that are going to grow there so fingers crossed um, it says seven ten days before the grasses start to come and then up to it could be up to six months before some of the flowers turn up I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing the poppies and the cornflowers and all those lovely flowers that you see when you walk in in the wild fields it's great uh, obviously to get the beds ready we had to do a bit of weeding here we are I have a full wheelbarrow full of weeds there you go isn't that exciting look we've got them all here our favorite of course buying weed and we've got of course the dandelion i'm gonna go and have uh, well guess what a cup of tea <laughs> 